All right, good morning all, and welcome back to Spycraft, the great game. Let's play part four. This is Stefan Scott. We are headed back to our office to work on the security model. God, I hate that clashing music thing. Okay, security model. Uh, security model my... online. Yeah. To display suspicious activity, click a subject's icon. Okay. If you recall last time we went through Lieutenant Warren Benton's suspicious activity and found him to largely be not so suspicious. Uh, so next in order is Dr. Darren M. Cohen. Cohen, Dr. Darren M. All right, he's the senior research scientist. He's married to Betty Cohen and knows some people. Uh, da, da, da. He had a psych workup after a laboratory altercation. This is what is it, Magruder and Sung, because something hadn't been properly put away. Wow, his father locked him inside of a basement closet, and that fucked him up. That's, that's fair. Okay. <coughs> I'm not sure that that makes him likely to seal the peg, but interesting. See. Calls from unknown locations have been recorded. Locate point of origin and analyze source audio. Searching. Ooh, a telephone at an airfield in Quebec. That seems weird. Darren Cohen. Well, hello there, Darren Cohen. <laughs> Did I give you this number? <laughs> You did a lot of things last night. Oh, yeah, well, I suppose I... Uh... Is there a problem? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. No, not at all. Good. So, I was thinking... Yes? Maybe we should hook up yet. Well, hooking up is good, but... Yeah, since <laughs> Saturday seems to be your night to shine. <coughs> Please. Really. I mean, I mean, that's... How about this weekend? Uh... I promise to wear nothing but a lab coat. Why don't I remember giving you this number? You're not interested? Oh, oh no! I mean, I mean, I mean, no, 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 no. It's, it, well, it's just that Betty will be in town. And then we'll do it some other time. Yeah, well, uh, sooner is good. Sooner than you think. Okay, so that was awesome. Um, what? <laughs> the best part is just the beginning. Um, her voice. Why won't this? There we go. Her voice on that intro. Well, hello there, Darren. Darren Cohen. Well, hello there, Darren Cohen. Amazing. Okay. So, he hooked up with someone. It's very weird, though, to me, that uh, the InfoSci facility is in Virginia, I'm pretty sure. And they're call and she's calling him from a payphone at a municipal airfield in Quebec. Seems weird. But we'll just ignore that for now. The six laboratory access recorded. Removal of info science components has also been documented. So this is the day when he apparently freaked out at Magruder and Sung, because uh, he had to put this away himself, I guess. Darren Cohen, a stitch in time saves nine. Yes, he sounds very angry about that. Off-hours building access has been documented. The Doesn't surveillance is available for analysis. Doesn't really seem off-hours. 3.30 in the afternoon on a Tuesday seems on-hours, but whatever. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe he stormed out in a huff after this. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Excuse me. All right, moving on to the seventh. Searching. Okay, William Robertson. Darren Cohen. Actually, it's Sergeant Cohen. Oh, General, how are you, sir? Excited, Darren. Eminently. Have you sharpened your bayonet? I most certainly have. Excellent. Betty and Sarah are doing well? Oh, everything's wonderful. Good. I'm calling to remind you... About the map. Exactly. 
I left them in that sob of yours after our victory at Chancellorsville. They're still there. Splendid. The wilderness awaits. Be seeing you. Goodbye. Okay, so it sounds like Darren Cohen probably is some sort of Civil War reenactor or something. It could have been a series of codes from, you know, his handler. He's a bad guy, but didn't really sound like it. All right, here's... This looks pretty normal. Darren Cohen, a stitch in time, saves nine. Okay, he worked on the thing for a while. Photo of him with that pipe. I think it's a different pipe now. He's got a lot of pipes. Good job. Okay. Oh, he doesn't have the pipe today. That's disappointing. Searching. Now, I'm going through all this stuff correctly because we're sort of building the case here. Um, and I will go back and show you how to get the rest of it. Um, really, to figure out who the problem is, if you just go through and click on everyone's photos, it will be very obvious very quickly, which we shall see soon. Darren Cohen. Hi. Oh, uh, yes. Hello. Mm -hmm. I believe we were discussing Saturday. No. Friday late. Late. Yeah, that, that could be arranged. You know, Betty's... She's out of town. Well, actually, yes, she is. I I'll be working on this infrared. Y you really shouldn't call me here. Then I'll hang up. See you tomorrow night. Uh, goodbye. Okay, so a nice little rendezvous planned. So he went out with her Friday late, right? It's very odd that he came in on Saturday. Irregular elevator use has morning. been documented. Huh. That's strange. Then he checked out the gun for one minute. Baron Cohen, a stitch in time saves nine. That sounded weird. So here's how this machine works, the sound matcher. You can use it to play things like we've done before. You can also use it to try to isolate sounds. So in this case, I don't think there's enough here, but let's see. I'm gonna isolate a little bit of sound here and see if the computer can find it. Yes, good, it found it. I'll pull that up in a second for you guys so you can hear it, but I just want to pull up one other thing here. Perfect. So now we have isolated both things in the call. So we found a positive idea in his voice, which we can isolate. Darren Cohen, a stitch in time saves nine. Perfect. And we're also able to go to his file from here. We've also found something called unknown distortion. Let's take a listen to that. Hmm. Almost sounds like static caused by like a tape recorder or something. Like maybe he's not actually at work at eight in the morning after being out Friday late. Now let's look at the picture, which we could have just clicked through from the beginning. Holy shit, that looks nothing like him. I mean, absolutely nothing like that guy other than they both have a beard and are dudes so <clears throat> i would say this is the guy who stole the peg let's see if we can find him using this thing again Is that it? Searching. Match found. <laughs> Again, none of these three photos look anything like each other. Ah, it's the worst. Okay, let's look up this man. Federal Bureau of Investigation Holy Access. Jesus. Look at this photo. That is not a good look for you. Whew. All right. Wayne Allen retired. From organized crime known as Grendel and Chameleon. 
<clears throat> it's a sought after thief and bodyguard. Good to know. Ooh, apparently he's also known as Macbeth. Not convinced on that one either. And he apparently does assassination. White slavery? Okay. Okay, worked with CIA to recruit KGB, and then he helped police in Moscow, blah, 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 killed him. What? Why did he do this? I don't know. So for some reason, he killed some other FBI agent in Moscow and stabbed his box of cigarettes to him don't really understand but perfect he's not a good guy and he stole this thing so that's bad okay so we've established that that doesn't mean we're quite done the question is was he working alone was he working with one of the info people was he working with someone else on the outside what's going on so we got to press on through the security model to make sure we have an idea Searching. Darren Cohen, it's me. Oh, hello, Mr. Handler. Got your facts. What the hell are these line of sight issues? Well, they're issues no longer. We've compensated by boosting UV intensity. Good. Target's gonna heat up? It'll become very hot. And at unprecedented range. The brass will be happy, I promise. They better be. Your ass is grass. You got that? I understand. I really must get back to grass work. is grass. Do it. You got that? Friday. Let's knock him dead. Grass yeah, ass. Well. Ass grass. All right. Um, <clears throat> now, if you remember the very beginning of the game, when I played that uh, voicemail in Frank Milkowski's office, that was the voicemail from Dr. Cohen about how Mr. Hanlon would be happy that he fixed the line of sight issues. So, yay. Means nothing, but all tied tied together. All right, Dr. Kate Magruder. Magruder, Dr. Kate, for personal information. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, the Washington State Huskies. I think someone got a little confused. There's the Washington Huskies, and there's yeah, Washington State's a different thing. Okay, whatever. Anyway, she was, went somewhere in Washington to school, and she's from Eugene, Oregon. I'm sorry. Okay, Dr. Kate Magruder, I would like to file a formal complaint regarding Dr. Cohen. Been here for two months and had that many run-ins with him. Called him infantile and lazy and said that's why my husband left me. Jesus. Okay. So that's probably what prompted Dr. Cohen uh, having to see that psychologist, as we saw earlier. Okay, so this is that day with the issues of taking out the peg. Kate Magruder equals MC squared. Whoa, your voice. Kate McGrunner equals MC squared. What is that? You're mad. Oh, that's right after the thing with the gun. Okay. Makes sense. Searching. All right. Kate Magruder. Hello, Miss Magruder. This is Eric Blanchard. I, I know who you are, so Alan can't call me himself anymore. He could. I'm supposed to inform you that some custody issues have arisen issues? regarding... Issues? What issues? Alan doesn't feel the visitation rights were adequate. Oh, really? And he's concerned with the environment you're creating for his daughter. His daughter? We shouldn't try to handle this on the phone, Miss Magruder. I just need to know if you'll be at the office today. There's paperwork to deliver. I'll be here. Great. Can you send him a message from me? Of course. Tell him to go to hell. <laughs> I like the message. The lawyer, of course. Go to hell. Perfect. Uh, so that happened. I don't know how that's really relevant to anything, but I guess she could want to steal the weapon, uh, 
you know, to try to get some money to deal with that or something. Uh, this seems normal. Cape Agruder equals MC squared. Why does your voice sound so much different on the identifications as it does on the phone? Strange. She went to the laboratory level on a Saturday. Uh, this is not the same Saturday, though, where it got stolen, so... Okay. That's her. Um, there's a fire alarm, apparently. Searching. St. Timothy's Catholic School. Kate Magruder. Hi, Kate. It's Mrs. Sheldon over at the school. Oh, hi. What you do now? <laughs> you have little faith. Your daughter didn't uh... do anything. I'm just calling to remind you about the parent-teacher day. Oh, yeah. What's that? I'm sorry. I've got to run. Okay. okay, who didn't love the ye of little faith comment from the tea teacher at a Catholic school? That's just, just a bad joke. Okay. Um... Yeah, nothing there. Nothing there of interest. <clears throat> okay, so I don't see any involvement of Dr. Kate Magruder or anything she's got going on, or Lieutenant Warren Benton. Clearly someone pretending to be Dr. Cohen was involved, but whether he was involved any further, we have not yet ascertained. And Dr. Lee Tai Sung. Sung. Soon. Dr. Lee Tai. Soon. For personal sure information... That. Click the folder sung, icon. Sung. Other icons display surveillance yeah. data. I'm stop just repeating words now. Okay. Associate or assistant research scientist, blah, blah, blah. Okay, covert dealings include the SG3 program. Uh-oh, what's that? Dear deputy director, value member of our team at the Stanford faculty. Facility? Whatever. May yeah, I've read about him. He arrived at Stanford two years ago at 14 and completed his undergrad. Jesus. Just uh, helping work on SG3. Doesn't know that it's bad or something. It will be used for environmental applications, blah, blah, blah. He has an anti government stance on many issues. Okay, that seems a little weird that we're giving him critic clearance and. Having him work on one of our top secret weapons program, but okay. He went to the roof. Interesting. One's not allowed to do that. Is that? What? Oh, that's at night. What? Why was he at this building all the, all day long on a Saturday? He was here at 9.26 p.m. He was also here to check out the weapon at 7.30 a.m. I Really? Looked at a, like, 15-hour shift on a Saturday. And that's a picture of him. Yes. <coughs> Went back to the roof again. Wasn't supposed to be there. Weird. Searching. stuff okay so we now know why he was on the roof he was just stoning up and uh it's also kind of a gloomy gust there how's it hanging not good man <laughs> perfect it sounded a little bit like the same guy who's gonna get through it me in that bottle searching This is Lee. Mr. Sung? Yeah. Hi, this is Margie from IntelliBank Customer Service. Yeah. Our records are showing that you haven't made a payment since June. <laughs> uh, how'd you guys get this number? Mr. Sung, we've had to place <laughs> the That's the perfect on question. Card. And as a matter of procedure, we have to inform you that we have contacted a collection. I agency. gotta go. 
<laughs> I like that response. I haven't paid since June. Okay. Uh, how'd you get this number? All right. He had the gun out for eight minutes. Let's hear him. Lee Tae Sung. Anarchy is the answer. Hey, I was right. It's Sung. Also, anarchy is the... Lee Tae Sung. Anarchy is the answer. Perfect. That's your pass key for the CIA. Love it. And that's him. Okay, I don't think he had anything to do with anything. Now, if any of you have been shouting at your screen, Stefan, you did not check something really obvious. I know, it was deliberate. Let's head back here and see if maybe those very Searching. convenient phone calls that set up a time to ensure that Dr. Cohen was away from his office, maybe that was deliberate. Darren Cohen. Hi. I don't know if this is a long enough sample. Probably not. No. Oh, uh, yes. Hello. Uh, I believe we were discussing Saturday. No. Friday late. Okay, let's see if there's enough here. Oh my god, please. No. Friday late. Late, yeah. That, that could be arranged. You know, Betty's... She's out of town. Black. Come on. <coughs> oh my god, for the love of... Betty's... She's out of town. Well, actually, yes, she is. I'll be working on this infrared. You, you really shouldn't call me here. Then I'll hang up. See you tomorrow night. Okay, that's got to be enough. Da, da, da. We'll go back and do it this way, just to be sure. Hang up. Okay. Do, 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 do. That should do it. Goodbye. Finally. Uh oh. That's weird. Why would random lady who's been calling him be in our CIA database? That sounds suspicious. Also, let's just hear her talk again, because it's always amazing. Hi. <laughs> Even that, all you needed. All right, Ying Chung Wang, also known as Marie Cho, Janice Kawa. Uh, I, th I thought she had another name, too. I'm sure we'll find that someplace. Former operative for North Korean intelligence. Interesting. Personal affiliations. Barkley? Why? Weird. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Known acquaintance of Wayne Allen. Grendel, I believe we, we refer to him as. Alright, case officer Victor Janus. Near East Operations. Agent has been compromised. Case officer's last contact with Chung Wing was taken on this day. Let's look into this a little bit. Janice. Victor. Ooh, he looks like drunk or something. I don't know. It's not not great. Uh, his alias is Maitre D, apparently. Fantastic. And he's in the Stormwatch Club. So that's... And the Society for Truth about Government Conspiracies. You work for the fucking CIA, dude. It, something's not adding up here. Okay. Anyway. Um... Do disappeared from service in line of duty, believed to be working for hire. Also known as the Stonemason, apparently. Known as the traitor of spies, mover of intelligence from one country to another. Joined the agency in the 90s. All his skills as a case officer were unimpeachable. He had a talent. Resolving issues that arose in life. Uh, uh, 
Okay, so he disappeared soon after losing Ying Chung Wang, which is this. Are you there? You have the signal, not me. I know, I know. This line is secure, right? Of course. Go ahead. I left the signal because I can't continue this relationship. I've been disloyal to my commandments and I feel like I've been manipulated. That's not all, is it? No. I've discovered new opportunities. Why should that end our arrangement? This is different. I found a new player. Actually, he found me. But either way, he runs a different kind of organization. We're operatives for hire. I have more responsibility. More freedom. Freedom is relative. No, you people are all the same. You freedom can never see two miles past Langley. Don't you understand? This world doesn't revolve around everything you do. Of course it does. This isn't a joke. I'm out. Everything is changing. And I don't know the rules of the game anymore. I'm making my own now. Not to mention my own paycheck. So you're back to Shanghai? I don't know. I might have an assignment there. I see. Goodbye. And don't try to contact me. I'm going to disappear. Of course. Listen. The money is incredible. You want to be a government worker your whole life? These people could use a man like you. I'm here to serve my country. I'm not for hire. Whatever you say. Okay, so it turns out maybe he is for hire. <laughs> Despite that. Or maybe they killed him for some reason. Uh, she's at the Kobayashi Institute of Asian Studies. That was the connection to Barclay. She's a grad student in Korean history. Interesting. Do do do. <coughs> she evaded Alan. She later murdered Wade. Who was Wade? Wade. Oh. Other FBI agent. Fled the country. She was an ex member of North Korea's state security and recruited at 16. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, she killed a bunch of people, and now she's for hire. She's kind of a bad person. Check. All right, that is all we Opening need. email gateway. It was stolen by Grendel. Message sent. Now they'll be like, wait, wait, wait. Impressive work indeed. Looks like Wayne Allen is definitely our thief. Grindle had to get close to Cohen to get his clearance card and probably his voice. Odds are he had a partner. Oh, did he really? Opening email gateway. Still him. The thief was assisted by... Who's the general? Oh, the guy on the phone with... Darren Cohn. Ooh, who remembers the address of that last call? I do. I remember the address. It's this one. This one. Message sent. Yay. Go on, it's Warhurst. I spoke with Jamie, so it took two operatives to steal the peg. Amazing. I can't imagine that pair working for anyone except profit. No word on the ex-FBI man Wayne Allen, but our friends at the Bureau will no doubt be hunting down Ying Chung Wang. Nice work. We'll talk after we've acquired her. That's Thanks. all. Ooh. Urgent directive. Report to Rural Route 9, Halifax, Virginia, immediately. Well, that's not weird and suspicious at all. But we'll find out more about that weird and suspiciousness next time because that was a very long video that mostly consisted of reading documents. So it is time to end that. Thanks for watching Let's Play Spycraft the Great Game. 
This is Stefani and Scott. Cheers.